Alright, what's going on guys and welcome back to the Ghouls Gaming and Tech channel. It is a cold day here in Florida. I know what you're thinking. If you don't live in Florida, you think it never gets cold. It's the sunshine state. It does get cold. It's about 50 degrees right now. But we're going to try to do something that we probably should do in warmer weather, but we absolutely need to do it now. As you can see by the messages on the screen, I've been trying to trade in my Tesla and I was going to trade it in for the newer Tesla but I found out that Tesla requires you to basically, if you made any modifications, you put any aftermarket parts, i.e. wraps or new air wheel caps on top of your vehicle, you need to remove that stuff before you trade it in because it's going to drastically affect your trade-in value if you're trading it into Tesla. Yeah, you can always go and sell your car to a, a, a dealer or something like that um, on a third party kind of site or whatever the case is, but usually if you're trading in a vehicle for a particular brand to a upgrade of a newer vehicle for that same brand, they'll probably give you the best price when it comes to trading in. That's what I plan to do as you guys can clearly see, my car's blue. This is not a stock color that Tesla offers. I got this wrapped and I put some other custom things on here like the icons, I just put like a little um, vinyl thing over it. You can just peel that off. Same with the wrap, which is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be removing this. All you need is heat. For people who go by Fahrenheit, you need about 130 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit just to help it remove easier. Now you can try to do it without heating it up. I wouldn't recommend that, but this is 3M wrap, so I know you need heat. I know this is, I know this sounds crazy, but if you Google the average heat for an average blow dryer, it gets between 80 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna be putting it on high and removing this wrap. And then also I do have uh, different air wheel caps on my, my tires, but that's easy. You can just pop those off. Obviously you guys, if you're a Tesla owner, you know this. I recommend if you are trading in your car, you've done anything custom to it, do not take pictures of your car as is in that custom uh, style or frame because they're going to significantly reduce the price of your trade-in. Remove that stuff first and then take pictures and trade it in because for my case in particular, uh, the estimate if I would have left it stock was about 25 grand that they would have given me for this. I sent pictures of the car as is and they reduced it to 21 uh, grand. $4,000 difference. I'd rather have those $4,000 to go towards the new cars. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're new or returning, make sure to hit that like button. It's definitely appreciated and you can also become a member of the channel and get a special thanks. The details will be below. So let's get it. So like I said, this is pretty easy. You just need to pop them off. Um, I'm putting on gloves because I know there's a lot of gunk under here and I don't want to get it on my hands. I'm about to go play basketball. So I'm gonna try to do this really, uh, this process pretty quick. So yeah, if you've never done it before, which I'm sure most of you know, you just pull at certain points of your frame and it pops right off. You can literally just throw this on, make sure to line it up with your tire uh, air inflation capsule, whatever it's called, and then just pop it in. So yeah, there you have it. I'm gonna do that for all of the other tires and then we should be good to go. We're gonna move to the, the vinyl. All right, you guys, so the rims were pretty easy. Now I do have a couple of these like basically stickers or little wraps on the uh, Tesla emblems. I just have one right here and then one on my steering wheel and then one on the rear Tesla emblem. So we're just gonna peel it off. It's super, super easy. All right, you guys, so now that we have pretty much everything off except for the main wrap, we're gonna work on this main wrap. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm gonna use a little like uh, cutting tool or slicing tool in case I get uh, close to some edges that need a little bit of extra assistance, but um, it should be as simple as heating up the uh, 3M wrap and then just peeling away 
don't uh, peel like up, you know, just peel at a low angle, low degree angle to try to slowly pull it off because you don't want to mess up the paint under. Two seconds later. All right, you guys. So almost six hours later and multiple blisters later, uh, finally got all the wrap removed. As you can see, it is now white. It is no longer blue. That was my first time ever taking that stuff off, obviously, or doing that in general. I didn't know how much labor went into it. I didn't want to rip the paint, so that's why it took so long. And then my fingers started hurting. We got everything that I put on here custom removed so it's back to stock so i'm gonna take some updated pictures send that to the uh, tesla email that they sent me for deliveries and it should update my trade-in estimate all right so as you can see the wheels are back to what they were originally the logos are back to that silver again the wheels and I am so proud of myself. I managed to remove all of the blue, tons of blue vinyl wrap in there. And then the interior is back to the stock. I need to change my uh, car icon back to white. That's it, you guys. Make sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I really appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully I'll be taking delivery of my new 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland. Ooh, like Tony Stark. Hopefully I'll be taking delivery of that pretty soon, but obviously I'll have tons of videos of that. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.